the peacock form of Krishna. One day, while staying in Varsana, Srimati Radharani was unable to go to the house of Nanda Maharaj to cook for Krishna. Sri Krishna felt very sad that he would not see Sri Radha, and so he went to Varsana, hoping that he might get a glimpse of her. He climbed to the top of a hill, and from there, looked upon the house of King Rishabhanu, expecting to have darshan of Radharani, but she was nowhere to be seen. Then Krishna started to make a sound like a peacock, calling out to Srimati Radharani. When Radharani heard the sound from inside the palace, she could understand that this was not the sound of real peacock, but the voice of her beloved Krishna. She thought to herself, Krishna is calling out to me, but my mother may come to know it is Krishna and not a real peacock. And so, without informing Mother Kiritida, Radha left the place and went searching for Krishna, following the sound of his peacock call. After some time, Radha and Krishna met at the top of the hill. Both of them were in ecstasy to meet with each other. They entered into a cave in a very solitary place. Radharani sat down and Sri Krishna lay on the ground, resting his head on the lap of Radharani. Radharani was caressing Krishna's body very affectionately while speaking different loving subjects with him. Meanwhile, Mother Kiritida realized that she had not seen her daughter for a long time. She became worried and searched for Radharani all over the place, but she was nowhere to be found. In great anxiety for her daughter's safety, Mother Kiritida went in search of Radharani. Seeing her footprints outside the palace, Kiritida followed them to the top of the hill, reaching the entrance to the cave where Radha and Krishna were exchanging loving talks. At the moment Kiritida arrived at the mouth of the cave, Sri Krishna was lying on the ground with his head, resting on the thigh of Radharani facing the entrance of the cave. Radharani was gazing upon the beautiful face of Sri Krishna and talking with him while affect affectionately caressing his body. Kiritida entered the cave but could not see Radha and Krishna in the darkness. Krishna, however, could see Kiritida. He knew the cave had only one entrance and that there was no place inside the cave to hide. When he realized that there was no way to escape, Krishna accepted the form of a peacock. Thus, to Kiritida, it appeared a peacock was lying on the ground with its head resting on the thigh of Srimati Radharani, who was stroking the peacock affectionately and talking to it in a sweet and loving way. Kiritida said, Radha, what are you doing alone in here? I did not see you in the house for a long time, and I was very worried. I came here searching for you, following your footsteps. Radharani said, I was feeling bored sitting all the time inside the house. I came here and saw this peacock, and so I am just sitting here stroking him. Mother Kiritida said, It's already noon time. Let us go back home. You must eat your lunch now. Radharani lifted the peacock from her thigh and gently placed him on the ground. With great sadness, she returned to the palace, along with her mother. There she took bath, ate her lunch and rested. Krishna transformed from his peacock form to his own Shamsundar form and returned to his house for lunch.